These projectiles pierce through thick obstacles and explode inside. They explode in the air, striking everything and everyone around them with tungsten balls and shrapnel. They even know how to fire charge sequentially along the path of their trajectory over enemy entrenchments. Today, we'll take a look at the most advanced multipurpose tank shells that terrify any enemy. But first, don't forget to subscribe to the Golden Bullet channel, where we understand the most modern military technology. What are these shells for and the problem of tanks? First, a little history. War constantly dictates its terms. Since the end of the Cold War, there has not been much fighting of tanks against tanks, and the existing anti-tank shells are quite suitable for it. However, there was a need for multipurpose projectiles to destroy infantry, bunkers and buildings. And they appear in the 1990s, and some old rounds were upgraded. For example, the M830A1 was improved to the level of M908 projectiles, and this made them more effective. The homemade shells made tanks much more useful in urban warfare. But over time, shells became so plentiful that crews now decide before battle which shells to load in the turret and carry in the gun, and in war, seconds decide survival. Military engineers are faced with the challenge of creating an effective projectile that will combine many functions at once and be versatile in any situation. And now, we will look at the most successful solutions. The 11 Rhine Metal German is a sensitive high explosive round designed to be fired from 120mm smoothbore guns, taking out non armor and lightly armored targets. Encounter as well as failed fortifications at ranges of up to 5000 meters. This round is based on requirements of German Bundeswehr for Leopard 2 tanks. By the way, be sure to check out our release at this link a US Marine Corps with Avro tanks. The goal was to create a versatile projectile capable of hitting different type of targets. When developing the projectile, three main requirements were taken into account. First, it was necessary for the projectile to explode in the air and scatter a cloud of shrapnel in different directions, in the form of tungsten balls and hull remnants to destroy the anti-tank missile system and infantry. The second requirement was to penetrate building walls 20 cm thick and destroy targets that had taken cover inside. And this required a thick walled projectile with a delayed action detonator. The third requirement concerned the destruction of earthen and wooden dugouts. Here a high accuracy of shooting and a projectile that would detonate even inside sandbags were required. All requirements were met. Thus the 11 Rhine medal was equipped with a programmable fuse mounted at the rear of the warhead. A forward ballistic tip containing over 6000 tungsten balls and a low sensitivity explosive in the middle section weighing 2.17 kg which could create 9 kg of steel fragments from the heavy shell body. The projectile is programmed when loaded and detonates in three different modes. The US Marine Corps were the first to test the projectile in Afghanistan on M1A1 tanks. APAM MPT In 2011, Israel unveiled its new 120mm multipurpose tank shell. M329 is designed to engage enemy personnel and assets. It's equipped with a programmable detonator, providing detonation in the air and next to the moving target. The M329 acts as a conventional high-explosive fragmentation projectile when used against buildings or bunkers. But also the gunner can program the shell to explode inside a building, only after penetrating through a wall, or to detonate in the air above infantry hiding in a trench. This property makes the M329 very handy for destroying buildings or simply destroying or incapacitating enemy infantry. The M329's projectile provides very accurate fire and it has a maximum range of 5000 meters. XM1147 AMP Advanced Multipurpose The US Army plans to replace four types of rounds with a single round known as AMP. The AMP has a contact fuse a delayed fuse and an air burst capability. This allows the gunner to quickly select the most appropriate type of detonation for a particular type of target 
AMP will be able to penetrate reinforced concrete walls and kill or wound infantry at a distance of more than 500 meters. The project till designed XM1069 will reduce the number of ammunition types to two. That is, the AMP itself plus the advanced kinetic projectile NA29E4. In addition to reducing the amount of logistics, this solves the crude dilemma of what to take with you into combat. Thank you for watching this video to the end, and I hope you found it interesting. Support the video with likes if you want to see more videos about shells and how they break up beautifully in slow-mo. See you next releases!